sitting at Mel's trying to get the house together, whatever the case may be. And I also wanted to see how this child support was going to come in because she kindly did apply for child support. After Leah left, she gave it some thought, gave it some time. And she said, you know what? I'm going to apply for child support. I'm actually going to do it. And she did manage your child support benefits. So she does have that ready to go. But look who shows up because I guess it's about to come out because it is Monday. So I'm wondering what he needs. <laughs> because what do you need, sir? Like, why are you suddenly here? You wasn't worried about coming here any other time. So let's check on that. Maybe he wants to see his daughters. Who knows? What if he was like, so I got a notification about child ah. support. <laughs> I would be no more good. Look at the girls. Oh, <sighs> I might get this little picture. This is so cute. What you taking a nap, Mel? Oh, now you're over here doing stuff with lipstick on your lips. I know. Rory really be stopping by and just being a stop by dad. I'm just so confused right now because at this moment, we all know that Chariot's pregnant again. So where is she at? Was he here to clean? Like, oh, you're here to use the computer. You're trifling, good for nothing. All right, my mom. Okay, go get her a bottle. He gonna look at her and then. <laughs> she fussing just a fuss. Cause yeah, girl, you are. Is anyone there? And Roy gonna just look at her like he's really give teething tablet. I thought we did this already. And then feed formula milk. Yeah, Melanie ain't got time to flirt with you. Let me find out. And then she gonna come over here. I know. Roy, what do you need? Like, why are you here? You're just here watching them. Ooh, flirty. Oh, All right, my mom. Tablet time is done. <laughs> she must not like being put down. Yeah, she don't like that. <laughs> Hi, <late. laughs> oh my God, we got another fussy little girl. I can't with her already. Look at you guys, minding her business. Look, look, look how quickly, every time he shows up though, I'm recording. But look how quickly he like came in, didn't even kiss his kids, just left. Like what's the point in you being here? And what's that random patch on your head? Is that the reflection? Oh, okay. Like if there was ever a moment that anyone needed to check on Roxy, it's now. We know that Roxy lost her fiance right so she's here and then right at the end of the funeral she found out she was pregnant here is the product of the pregnancy this is kobe and this is the baby that my sim self helped deliver when she went into labor because enzo the father is no longer with us so you see rhina she's now a toddler she's all big now she's nice and sleep in her little toddler bed not kobe he's up early in the morning doing a blowout on mom so yeah this is the story of roxy this is what she's dealing with right now and we've seen her already with rhina it was a lot now my sim self has been over here like trying to help her and stuff so i think she's gonna come back over and i think that aries is gonna come over too and help out with the kids as much as he can and then he's gonna leave and my sim self will probably stay for a little while so yeah that's what it's looking like interesting yeah this is poor roxy Yo. Everybody needs to check on her and make sure that she's okay. Because I'm not sure she is. Now, look who's up. She's about to be up because she had a nightmare. She's tired. She's hungry. She's not that tired, but she's about to be hungry. She wants some attention. She needs some attention. I mean, Roxy just, she she can't do it. She can't do it. Cradle infant. She's going to have to give Kobe a bubble bath because she doesn't have a choice. So let's get that done, Rox. 
I know. I know. No koi. Alabar and Boya. And then she can get in the tub and do whatever. She has to feed her too. Like, oh my god, this is just it's a lot. Mommy has to do a lot by herself, honey. It's driving her up the wall. It's making mommy crazy. She's hungry. She hasn't slept. It's like right now, I need my mom. So what we're gonna do is write in that she's already begged her mom to come over. <laughs> Because right now, we need mom. This is the time that you need mom. And mom's gonna come over and help out with the kids. She's gonna get Rhina some food, get her off to preschool. Because is she enrolled? If she's not enrolled, there we go. Mom's gonna come over, get her some food, and get her off to preschool, and then clean the rest of the house. While Roxy takes a bath and goes to sleep because Kobe is going right to bed after this. Let me add her to the family because she's gonna come on in here. Probably should give her a key to Roxy. Control Sim. Come on up here and get your grandbaby. <laughs> come get your grandbaby. <laughs> and I think she needs... Oh wait, I don't think she can even do that because they don't have the diapers yet. They don't have the swaddlers. And mind you, every time I order a, a package... They come up the steps and throw it into the wall and I never end up getting the package. So they come up the steps. I would think they would leave it right here at the top of the step. No, they like hand it into the wall and it's gone. It like just fucking disappears. I've ordered two packages here already and haven't gotten them. So that's been pissy and annoying. I'm like looking in bushes to see if it's like, if they came into the bushes, like I've moved stairs to see, like literally taking the stairs off to see if the packages have been in the stairs. Nope. I've moved cars. Nope. Okay. They just literally don't show up. All right. Besides the point, I'm so glad she thugged that out because some Sims really have trouble washing a baby while they're this dirty. At least she has her mom. That's what I am happy for with Roxy that at least she has her mom because this could be so much worse bro she could be in a melanie position right now hey honey my little grand boy did she eat already okay hold on mom walking around all fancy can you talk to your grandbaby I feel... <laughs> change her outfit Please don't tell me she has a fucking job. Toss, best Take PTO. What the hell do you do? Oh, okay. That actually makes sense. All right. What's her problem with her cell phone? Oh, I know. That ain't even me. Oh my God. Pick her up. Get off your fucking phone. See, that's not me at all, bro. I can't answer a text within five hours, bro. Like, I probably should check my phone right now. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's definitely not me. I don't know who that is. All right. She is late for the bus. And use your normal walk style. I done, I done switched this for you. Your Leo Rising done switched it back. Please do not lose my package, bro. Don't lose my package. She better not lose that motherfucking package. Hold on. I need to get you where you need to go, honey bunches. I, I thought her outfit was changed. You know what? Whatever. Go to preschool. My mom sent you off. Okay, really quick. My package was delivered. It better be on them steps. Because the way y'all don't know how to do that is crazy. Look, where's the package? Nowhere to be the fuck found. It ain't in the doorway. Nothing. It's like gone, bro. Every time. Gone. It is nowhere to be found. This happens every time, bro. So I'm like, is there a designated area that it's going to? Like, it's coming to the houses the way it's supposed to, but like, that package don't show up. This is the third now package that has not been left on the door the way it's probably supposed to be. Now, when I'm in an apartment, they do it. Maybe it's because it's not enough room, but it's like, then it should just kind of slide in the doorway. I don't know. So I've checked the basement. I've been like, maybe it's somehow fell in the basement nothing so i always have to end up going and bill buying getting every fucking thing i just got can you vacuum this okay you can 
great. Do laundry. Mom's going to make some breakfast. See, she getting it done. She going to get it done for her baby. Everybody's going through it right now, but we going to get it done. Roxy, you can even go to sleep while she makes food. Hopefully the power don't go out. Just a reminder from your aunt that you're amazing and capable of anything you set your mind to. Oh my God, Roxy. This looks so bad. Like her face looks so bad. Oh, honey, just go to bed. Whew, she looks like she's a, she's dead. Like she's a zombie. Oh my God. She needs this rest. Let's see her bills. Does she owe her mom rent? <laughs> she don't owe her rent yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, do she owe her mom rent? Not her phone constantly going off. Like, uh, uh Benica, yep. Don't do this stupid ass shit. Don't do this. Resume. Ain't no reason to be acting like that. All right, now what you can do since you ain't hungry. What, you gotta go to work? Oh girl, you're late for work. Why am I sims up? Girl, go to work. All right, Rox, gotta go. <laughs> oh, literally, didn't I say? I hope the power don't go out just in time. The power goes out and mom leaves to go to work. It worked out perfectly. Shout out to mom. Mom came through and saved the day, okay? Came through and picked her daughter up. Cleaned the house up as much as she could. Was going through the laundry, but I didn't know she was this damn late for work, baby. Mom came through and saved the day. Shout out to mom. Put some food in the house so that Roxy could get it together. Like... Ah, Pomesnerzo. All right, thank you, mom. That was just so dope. I love that her mom came through, made a whole damn meal for the house. <laughs> she got seven of them left. He's up and ornery. <laughs> so you need to have his bottle ready, okay? Oh, it's on heat. That's why, my goodness. That could be why the baby's screaming and hollering. My goodness. 67 in here. I put it on. Oh, fuck. That's what it is. I completely forgot. There's no fucking power. So of course she's in here burning up and so is he. All right, Kobe, she's coming. She's coming. You're working yourself up and you about to be sleepy all over again. She needs to have fun, but she can't until she gets him together. Ryan is just lighting the school up, honey. Lighting the school up. What she want to write? Finish writing a book? Okay, we can save that. Maybe you can write something about what you went through, Rock. Was losing your fiance and now oh. being a single mom. Oh, Nubu. And he can take a little nap on that mat. She can play the game for a little bit and she can take a nap herself. Rhina's ready to come home. Oh God, she can't play the game. Oh my goodness. Play with Kobe. Oh God. Okay, he's right. Go to sleep. Never mind. Play a game on here. Baby, I'm so sorry, but your mom is going through it and you're gonna want to look. Aries calling. Yes. Can you please come over here? <laughs> Did not say she was gonna try to get Aries over here. Yes. Can you please come over here? Because I'm losing my shit right now. I literally only have a portable tablet at this time. You gotta go get your daughter. She She's outside in the damn rain. Lord rocks. Go ahead and get Rhina. All right, y'all. Welcome to Nasir Gibson's home. He is actually running out a property in Willow Creek, not too far from everyone else. He's actually neighbors with, let's zoom out so we can see. Y'all, I am trying to test myself by using the Sims 3 camera because I prefer the Sims 3 camera over the Sims 4 camera, but I haven't played the Sims 3 probably since I was like, <laughs> I don't know. We're talking what, 14 years now? Of I do not remember how to move this camera. So now I'm relearning it and I'm trying to force myself to use this camera because I prefer this camera. But anyways, 
Look at the little neighborhood I have in Willow Creek. I would like it to have more stuff around. So I'm definitely going to have to dig into tool mod and all of that. But he literally lives catty corner like diagonal this is where Katrina and her mom live they these are their cars and then he lives literally right next door to Reese and Andy so this is one of my sim self's properties and he's running that out I do want him to meet Roxy I want him to be Roxy's love interest y'all know how I get I have these plans but it don't go my way. I don't know what be going on. It do not be going my way. I'm hoping this is going to go my way. He's already made a Cupid's Corner profile. Do you have to eat? Can you open it like right now while you're eating? Like multitask? No, of course you can't do that. So he's made his Cupid's Corner. Mind you, I don't like how that looks. Do you see that? Ugh. This is going to bother me. Anyways, he's made his Cupid's Corner. We've gone through the matches. He has 12 more hours until he can go through some more matches. And as we see, he's not too interested in these matches. Okay. One he did like. He did save her. We don't know what Brinley looks like, but she looks very pleasant. So he's going to save her. But I do want Roxy on there. So I think I'm going back to Roxy's right now to get her to open up Cupid's Corner. But I just wanted to introduce Mr. Gibson. I know. And now you're not. Okay. Can you turn around a little bit so we can see? you? Ooh, yeah. Thanks, sir. Um, I wanted to just introduce him. Let's go to Roxy's. Y'all, please work with me. Please work with me with this. Um, manage world, save.